so much, Paul, for joining us. Great Hello. to have you on the program. Right, so Lucky Goose fame, Italy having fantastic bond auctions. And this really coming on the back of the good bond auctions we saw coming through from Germany earlier this week. Mm. So bond yields looking slightly at better levels. Yeah, you know, I know you've discussed these, you know, euro issues earlier in the show, and I'm only supposed to be here to say something funny. Um, <laughs> so I'm trying to, to think. Humorous. <laughs> I'm trying to think what the funny angle is on these companies. Uh, you mean my, countries, right? My colleague Sasha had a nice line in his morning email today, which is that it's a pity that these countries like Portugal and Greece aren't beer companies because SAB Miller had that fabulous, uh, you know, placement of its corporate bonds at much lower yields than these countries. But for the record, Spain seems to have stabilized around 5%, mm. uh, Italy around 65 which, I mean, these are not great levels. You'd think countries could get debt away cheaper than that, but it seems that uh, at least they're stable and that these governments are prepared to continue funding themselves on that basis. Anyway, I mean, as I've been saying for a while, all we need is, you know, some successive good news out of Europe and then the overall market can rally. We'll see. I know. How many did you say? Five days? Five. Five days. Continuous. Okay, no news from <laughs> Europe. That's what so, I'm looking for. Okay. So uh, retail sales out of the US for December coming in at a mere 0.1%. And that's yes. disappointing. What do you make of retail valuations as a whole? I mean, I know that you specifically looking at MassMart and the likes of Tesco. Mm. I don't know. You know, I mean, we like long term uh, growth stories in retail. And you know, the market loves nothing more than a rocket ship in the retail space. So obviously, you know, you know, people buy stuff over the years, over the decades. A new company that hasn't existed before and comes to the market and can show that it can grow in good times and bad is the market's favorite animal. That's why, you know, a company like Mr. Price, which continues to deliver good numbers, you know, they really fall in love with that. MassMart, of course, is an interesting story. You don't story. hold Mr. Price, though, do, do we you? We do hold a fair amount of them, but we are mostly in MassMart. So we lived through the whole, you know, part buyout and so on by Walmart, and everybody's loving that one. I mean, it's clocking in at 180. What a price. But uh, Tesco What's is the reverse. What's your price reverse. target on MassMart? A price target. Do you have a price target on MassMart? It's 182.70. Uh, you know, do you don't, don't you operate <laughs> that way? Are you going to hold on for the next how well, many years? price target, the question is, you know, when, you know, what level? I don't know. I mean, I'm quite surprised, even though I'm a huge MassMart bull, to see them at this level already. Yeah. But I will say that I was surprised to see that the retail sales, you know, for the year compared to the prior year came in so strong. Who are these people? What are they doing? How are they what are they buying? What money are they using to buy? I mean, sales just, you know, very strong sales through the till. Yeah. Anyway, to come back to the Tesco story, there's a funny angle there. You know that there's some food chef guy that got arrested for shoplifting cheese in Tesco. Did you pick up the story? No, I didn't. I don't know, it's some guy who's like a TV chef, so he gets arrested, I kid you not, with cheese that he'd stuffed into his pockets. And then he had a big public apology. So today Tesco's numbers come through and they're disappointing, which led the wags, of course, to say, how much cheese did he really steal, you know? <laughs> well, that's funny. Paul. Anyway, share price yeah. down like 11, 12%. Tesco is a global giant and you know that there's a bit of a South African angle here because for a while it's been rumored that Tesco may be interested in the South African market and has been in talks with pick and pay, but who knows. All right, we have to leave it there, Paul. Great to have you on the program. Thank you so much for joining us. Paul Tarani.